Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track Gear, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the all new Showy RF 1100 helmet. The model that I have here in front of me is in a size medium. This is the Hadron. Let's give you a nice 360 because this one certainly looks different than its predecessor, the RF 1000. Hopefully you're nice and tight here, Ryan. I have ridden in this helmet previous to this video. I've had it here for a short while. We've had it apart many times, put it back together many times, and then I had the opportunity to take it out and ride with it at Grattan Raceway. And I did a track day in it. And let me tell you, I was very, very impressed. The RF 1100 has received many upgrades for 2010. Many upgrades, one of which being this is a Snell 2010 helmet, so it carries the the new certification. Another one is the brand new shield and shield mechanism. This shield offers a much bigger eye port. Okay, the vision from this thing is, is tremendous. I found zero obstruction, peripheral in a tuck, everything was fantastic. Okay, it uses a brand new ratchet system. And I want you to see if you can zoom in on this, Ryan, get nice and tight, because this thing is actually spring-loaded. When you put it down in a closed position, the springs pull it back for a perfect seal. When I say perfect seal, this helmet does not allow any wind or water to come in where it seals against the shield. And that's showy stating that it is watertight wind tight, okay? Remember, Japanese company, very careful about the claims they make. I can assure you from the testing that I got to do with it, there was definitely zero wind coming in the shield, and I think that's fantastic. This is the most revolutionary shield ratchet system I've seen to date, okay? So you're probably thinking to yourself right now, boy, this is probably really going to complicate the removal and reinstallation process, right? So we're just going to go ahead and hit on that right now. Grab the trigger, which is right here, pull forward, it releases the shield, and then just kind of dip it out like that. It's really not much different than it, than it was before. Perhaps just a, a tickle more difficult, but really, at the end of the day, not much. And for the benefits it offers, well worth it. They did a fantastic job with the shield, the ratchet me mechanism. And, and the seal, I think those are all dramatic improvements, industry-leading technology right now. Ryan, if you just want to zoom in here, you can see how they're accomplishing this. This is all spring-loaded. There's no adjustments need to be made with these base screws. You put them in, and, and it's spring-loaded from there. It's incredible. It's like a self-adjusting mechanism. Fantastic job, multiple detents. It still comes with the lock and or ability to crack the shield open. You know, just like the showies have for quite some time. What did I think of this helmet? Aerodynamically, it was near flawless. I didn't notice any lift. I didn't notice any buffeting when it came up from behind the screen. Some head checks looking behind me. Very, very solid. For the level of ventilation it offers, I think it was extremely quiet. I was really pleased with that. I do wear earplugs when I'm on the track, but still super quiet. Okay. The comfort level of this helmet is definitely a step up from the RF-1000. The RF-1000 was good. This is much better. They're using five separate shell sizes on the RF-1100. That's industry leading again. Okay. The size medium here, it weighed in at 3.55 pounds in the, the Hadron graphic. You know, that's right where it needs to be. That's a lightweight helmet offering a, a great fit for sure. Let's go ventilation now. We have three intake vents and then we have six exhaust vents. Main intake vent being right here on the chin. Two more vents up here at the top in the forehead and there's a couple of detents you can work with here. I'd like to comment on these plastic vents. The action on these is amazing. It feels very precise quality is incredible. Let's go back to our exhaust vents here. These are either open or closed. 
once again, the quality of these things, stunning. And then there is some exhaust that is done through the neck here on the back of the helmet as well. You'll notice no more plastic wing. They were able to, with new technology, something they had derived when they developed their new motocross helmet, they were able to actually mold it into the shell and keep the shell thickness consistent as they needed to to keep it, you know, passing the safety standards. That is, it gives the helmet a much cleaner look, I think, when this is just part of the shell. Real cool detail there in the shell. The RF 1100 now comes with a fully removable, washable, replaceable liner, both cheek pads and top pad. You can, of course, tune the fit of the helmet to your liking if you want to get some additional cheek pads and different thicknesses. We can facilitate that for you, of course. The material they've used on the interior of the helmet is also much more comfortable than what was used before. What was used before was great, felt nice, many people loved it. This is just simply an improvement, a step up. Okay. We're going to do another video uh, where we're going to talk about how to disassemble the helmet, how to reassemble it, and we'll show you all of that stuff. For now, we're just going to focus on the features and the benefits. Warranty of the helmet. It is five years from date of purchase or seven years from date of manufacture, whichever comes first. It's a great warranty. Showy stands behind it for sure. There's a couple of items that do come with this helmet, a couple of little value adds here. One is a breath deflector. Simply inserts, you know, right here, and this works to drive the air up onto the shield to help reduce and prevent fogging, okay? The other item it comes with is going to be a chin curtain. We'll show you how to install that when we do the in interior part as well. If you're having an issue with fogging, okay, if you ride in an area where it's kind of cold, you know, early in the season or late in the season, you know, moisture is an issue. As long as there's ventilation in this helmet, it's going to keep the screen clear. So as long as you're moving, you've got some airflow coming in there, there will be no fogging. When you come to a stop, it can fog. Um, they do offer the pin lock option if you want to get the showy pin lock shield. That does not fog, and it's a, a nice benefit to this helmet if you feel that you need that. On its own, once there is airflow, no fog. And I was riding in conditions last weekend where the helmet would fog with no airflow, like when I was gridding up to go out. But once I was out up to speed, I had zero issue with fog. The RF 1100 is all new. I think it's a great value. I think this is truly a premium helmet that sells at a price many people can afford. There's so many ways you could compare this to helmets that sell for several hundred dollars more. Okay, This is going to be a fantastic seller for Shoei. They've absolutely dotted all the I's, crossed all the T's. I think they've hit a, a total home run. I was very impressed with this helmet, riding in it for the track day that I took it out last weekend. I've asked myself several times, would I reach into my pocket and pull my money out and spend it on this helmet? The answer to that is absolutely highly recommended. If you haven't owned a Shoei, this is a great place to start. If you've owned a Shoei before and, and you're ready for a new one, you will love the brand new Shoei RF 1100 helmet.